Capricorn, hi. So this is gonna be a reading for March 20th through the 26th. And I'll uh, take a look into your recent past, your current energies and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Cappy. Bam. <clears throat> Bam indeed. Alright. Oopsie doops. Stay here. Don't you go running. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Page of Swords. You're moving forward, but with very small steps. I'm not sure if that's because of everything that's coming up or because you're unsure of this path you're on. Um, in the recent past, the Ten of Swords, the Tower, the Eight of Wands. Ooh, this could be in regards to some sort of communication. It doesn't look good in terms of almost like bad news or something. It, it looks like, oh my God. You know, um, I'm not sure if you're the one that's bringing this communication or if it's coming towards you. I got it initially more as towards you, but it could go either way. There's something about an energy that's being exchanged that doesn't look uh, like it's great news, you know, so I don't know. Um, in the current situation, the Emperor, the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Cups. All right, you're kind of looking at choices here. Um, I'm not sure what kind of choices, but you're... I mean, it's good to look at choices here, definitely, but you're disconnected from your heart. I feel like there needs to be a little more emotional involvement in these choices, because uh, it's definitely showing up as a little bit of an issue. Like, almost like looking at something blank, where you can't figure out what's best for me. You don't know, unless it's coming from your heart, you know, that decision. or you know, bring it up a little bit. Um, <clears throat> in the immediate future, the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups. This looks like a choice, like a brand new beginning here, but there's a little bit of, eh, I don't know if I want that. It, and it, you kind of start off in that way in terms of your energy is a little bit of against it. So it almost feels like as you make the choice towards where you need to go next, you're, you're kind of throwing this energy on board of... Yeah, I don't think this is the right choice, but I'll go for it. Again, reminder, connect to your heart while you're looking at these choices, because otherwise you'll get in this position right here. So let's clarify. Let me see the Page of Swords. The Ace of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Cups. See, I feel like you want to move forward. You want to move possibly past something. There's something you may want to leave behind here because you are showing me the past and you're you're looking pretty confident. You're looking pretty good there in terms of, all right, I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing. But for some reason, it, that's it within your energy, the confidence. For some reason, when you put it into, into action, eh, it's lacking there. There's something missing there. There's like this little bump in the road kind of a thing. Like, well, I don't know if I'm doing this right, you know? Um, hmm. Let's do the Ten of Swords there in the recent past. The, oh, the Three of Wands, the Hangman, the Three of Cups. So this could have been something you've been sitting on for quite a while um, on the hopes that maybe it would work out. It could be in regards to a relationship, I'm not sure. But I see a big pause on there and the pause kind of reflects you just kind of waiting, waiting and seeing what happens. And again, a little hope attached to it of I hope it's going to work out. Um, I get the sense that eventually it concluded here, you know where you weren't sitting on it anymore. You just kind of were done with it. But let's see the tower. Uh, the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is, you know, that final try, that final, let's give it another shot. Let's let's give it our best shot because this is a final one kind of a thing. Uh, but there's a lot of overthinking supporting that. So it's like <clears throat> you and me, we're on our final stretch there, and I'm gonna try something to to possibly bring it back to where it was or even better. But um, 
you know, before I start acting on it, I have so many thoughts in my head that I'm just probably gonna fuck it up anyway. So it kind of looks like that a little bit because I see the action, but I also see the tower. It's one of those, you know, either you or whoever this is did something and it kind of blew up in their face, you know? So I'm not sure. I feel like this is the ending of something for you. Let's do the Eight of Wands. The Sun, the Knight of Wands, the Five of Wands. Yeah. And then comes this energy of, hey, you know, but I want to make it work and I want to make it happy. And I want to, but like everything that comes through from that energy is conflict though. So that tells me that this could be me again telling you, hey, Cappy, let's, no, thinking or wishing to have, you know, happiness with you. But then whatever I do and whatever I say contradicts that. So very opposing energies there within one, within either them or you. And that created conflict outside of themselves, possibly within a situation here where two people were involved. So, okay. Let me do the emperor in the current situation. The Five of Swords, the Two of Wands, the Devil, you're procrastinating here, and I'm not sure why. Uh, you've got everything it takes to go where you need to go, and for some reason you're like, nah, I'm not going to do that, I'm not going to do nothing. I'm just going to sit around without nothing. There's a sense of procrastination here, and it's pretty unhealthy because your energy, as I see it, your higher self, is ready to go. It's like, let's go. Where It doesn't matter. Let's go. And by holding this back, by holding yourself back, it comes in with a sense of deception and a little bit of, you know, of unhealthy energy in there that you're bringing to the table. Um, let's do the Seven of Cups. The Hierophant, the Page of Cups, the Star. Okay, so you do know what you want. The problem is that what you want is very much connected to to your heart, to your sense of depth. But as I said, you're disconnected from your heart. That's where you could go, mm, let's go in that direction because I don't know, it looks good. I think that's it. And then you go there and it's like, where's the feeling at? Did you feel that, you know, you were drawn to that place or? Nah, not really, I just, you know, it had pretty colors. Um, that's why you're not going anywhere. All right, let's get to the source of your issues here, the Eight of Cups. Let's see. Oh. The Tower, the Seven of Swords, the Lovers. Okay. So what placed you in this little bit of numbness, it's not complete numbness, but it's a little bit of numbness, which doesn't allow you to connect to your heart, is that situation from the past, whatever happened there, you know? Uh, I feel like you came out of it and you forgot, you know, to, to bring your heart to the game. Um, you disconnected from your heart once that happened and you lived into this numb little world that you created without even realizing that you did, you know? And now when it's time to, okay, you're ready to move forward, it's like, hold on, I don't know where. I can't feel my way forward, you know? Let's do the Nine of Wands in the immediate future. The King of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups. Oh, man. Again, kind of starting to move forward, but really guided by your mind only. You're showing me again the disconnection from your heart. Um, and that's why I remember when I opened up the immediate future for you, I told you you're you're going somewhere, but there's a little bit of rejection towards where you're going from the get-go. Because here, even though, you know, you probably know the source of what keeps your heart open, you're not opening it up still. Um, energies behind that are kind of, you know, yelling at you to get your attention. Self-love, open up, you know, things like that are kind of like, Cappy, please. And you're holding them down just by holding on to that energy of disconnection so that's why there's the rejection to pretty much anywhere you go you know any direction that that opens up for you uh you numbed yourself in there uh, 
All right, let's do the Ace of Swords in the immediate future. You get the Ace of Swords again, the Three of Pentacles, the Hermit. There's a, this looks like a good direction to me. It does involve someone else, so it could be, I don't know, friendship, something. Somebody reaches out to pull you in a particular direction, and it could be from a friend to a family member to more than that. But it's a very grounded, very healing energy that they're bringing forward and they're opening that door up for you and they're reaching their hand and you're like yeah okay okay but you gotta pull harder you know for me to come up um hold on sneeze come on come on no uh so this would be one direction let me see the ace of cups the Seven of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, the Magician. You still want to come um, to those doors that open up. You still want to come from a place of openness where your heart is open. So I kind of, because that's what you're manifesting here. And you're pretty stubborn about it. Kind of like, okay, let's, let's work on this. Let me open up my heart. Uh, meanwhile, this door does open up. I'm not sure if you're going in this direction. It, it kind of looks like you are but at the same time you're giving yourself enough time to open up also um to really kind of confirm that okay this is this is this is nice for me this is a good direction for me so it's going to take you a little bit of a time here to open up so that you can assess where you're going next but um overall i feel like you're reaching the place in which you're like okay let's do this let's work on that and then i see good energies further i didn't it's interesting because in the past there, I look at those energies as an, as messy as they look, and they do look very messy. I'm like, I didn't catch that, that you closed off your heart through that. Because I'm like, okay, you know, something part of your life next. You're good to go here, especially with the emperor showing up and taking charge of things. But then I'm like, ah, oh, so that did affect you more than it looks. You know, so I don't know how far back that was but from that place into the present moment a little bit into the future even you're showing up numb you're showing up not connected to your heart so just so you are aware um let's see Alex is dreaming let's see what the universe has the Justice card, the Hierophant, the Two of Swords. Yeah, right now you're in your head about things, which is kind of normal. If you're not connected to your heart, you're going to be up here, busy up there. Because um, you want to bring balance. You want to find yourself back into that place of inner balance, basically. And I feel like that's what your intention is, but you're looking for that from the wrong place. You're looking from here for something that has to do with here. So this first step in all of that is to open up your heart and then that'll come into place basically all on its own you know and uh again i see that happening give it a give give it a little time because you're stepping into these energies where you're showing up as quite interested in doing that and opening up your heart or back um but yeah that's what i have for you hope this helped and i'll see you next time